Hey, part two. Okay, so, um, if you really can't put your arms behind, if it really hurts and you can't and you can't manage to massage it, what you can do is, I had this, de well, this was designed originally by an old friend, and then I redesigned it and gave it to my dad, and he made that, so it has the points, and so you can get onto the areas and, and press and, and move on the outward away from the spine with something like this but if you don't have that you can use a wooden spoon again with that angle pressure points obviously on the mid back you would and then out I'm going to show you later or you can use something like that which is when you do the herbs so again you can press down if you need something shorter just to massage around there yeah. Now, what causes these things? It could be from work positions. If you're working um, and maybe you have your arms in this position and so all the tension reaches there. I had a client who he had he did some kind of work where he was consistently like this. So to actually get rid of his pain, I had to put him in that position and massage the muscles there because the muscles um, um, became very tough through repetitive work um, which stretched him and he wasn't able to, to have that mobility to move his arms. After you massage that and it softens and it's relaxed then it can release and the arms can, can move up and down again and the pain in the mid back goes. So, so we have to watch to see um, if it's our posture that has been causing it and if so then um, see how you can do it differently. If maybe you can change your posture in some way through the work. Um, now, the other thing that you can use if you don't have any of the woody um, sticks is you can use a stone from the beach. That is really good as well. Again, try and find one with a point if you live by the sea. And again, it's pressurizing. You see that there? Bring the pressure and then outwards away from the spine. It's usually easier with your neck and your shoulders using a small stone like that. Ideally you need something bigger for the mid of the back. Now, it's also, the mid back is also, it covers the areas of our kidneys um, and our solar plexus and our solar plexus is the area when we feel really stressed or anxiety or fear you know, when we get that butterfly feeling, and it's all in here. So this relates um, to that area. So if you have like lack of confidence um, or self-esteem or a lot of issues like that, insecurities, it can affect the mid back as well. That's I'm talking about energy-wise, the energy of emotions. That's that's how it can affect these areas. Um, and so to, to help heal that, you need to challenge yourself. You need to try and overcome the, the, um, the fears and the insecurities and the lack of calm. You need to push yourself to do the things that you're afraid of because that will help, really, with the energy to release around that area. So now I think we've talked about everything that needs to be spoken about. Uh, if you're going to use essential oils, because it's a muscular area, you need something warming. So you can use oregano, um, thyme, you can use perhaps some rosemary um, and some lavender and some lemon to break down the lactic acid. Those are not warming oils, they're more cooling oils, but um, marjoram is another warming oil. That was a good one as well. So let's get, um, let me get ready and we'll start with the massage. One minute. Okay, so I'm going to try and do this and I'm looking through the glass window here so I think I can see. So I'm going to use the wooden stick because that's what most people will have. So you need to first get the circulation moving. So I'm just doing upward strokes on either side of the spine. I'm not using a lot of pressure here. A little bit. You can use the other side of the wooden spoon. Then 